welcome to Tony's Bonsai. We've got a boxwood plant that I picked up for 50p. The roots are all over the place. I've got some rocks and it can mean only one thing and that's a root over rock planting. Before we look at any of the rocks, let's take a look at the plant. As I say, I picked it up for 50p yesterday. It's a boxwood. I think it's quite good shape. Um, I think it's got a decent structure to it, which is great. But the reason it was on offer is because look at the roots. These are, I presume these are dead. Although they're connected to some roots lower down that are in the soil, so I'm not giving up on them yet. But I thought I'd take this out, have a look at those roots and get it planted on top of one of those rocks. This is like the old uh, game show, Bullseye, where they used to have the prizes on a ro rotating circle. We've got this rather nicely shaped one. I think that might be a bit big. We've got a really nice dark one here that I think could be the best option. And we've got a lighter coloured one. Now, bearing in mind the roots on the boxwood are fairly light, I think I'm going to dismiss this one. And as I say, this one's too big. So I think that's, that's looking best. Just going in a little closer. It's got some lovely texture to it, but it is basically fairly smooth. And it's this lovely dark color. And I think that'll work really nicely. In terms of pots, this is one of my concrete cement pots. I think it might be a good size. And I like the contrast of the light and the dark and then the light roots. I think that might look good. So that should work. It's white on white, so it's hard to see, but I put a couple of pieces of plaster as scrim tape over the top just to seal that hole because it is quite big. And then into that, I'll just add some, some bonsai soil. This is recycled, so there are a few bits of weeds and stuff in it, but that's okay. So we've got that as the base. Time to get to the interesting bit and look at the tree. I don't really plan on doing anything with the top of the tree. I might just prune it back a little bit, but basically the work to be done is down here. We can see we've got a really healthy root system and it's, I'm just wondering how much life there is in these roots. And as I suspected, there is some, these are still alive down at the bottom. So, I can use these in the planting. And I think what I'll do is, I'll get that rock here. And my idea is to sort of somehow get that onto there. And the way I'm thinking of doing it is just by breaking these roots apart like that. Just sort of like that. I think perhaps what I will do is wash these roots as well, just to get the soil out of them. I'll take these, uh, these roots and just start kind of working them in in this bucket of water. It's quite cold. Cold on my hands this. They have very, very um, sort of fibrous matted roots, these boxwoods. I could probably find a better time of year to do this work than now, but it only cost me 50p, this tree. And it'll be fine. And all I'm doing is I'm putting my fingers in and just act, using them like a comb to just comb, comb the roots down. Instead of using like a rate, or, um, 
a root hook, which will be a bit too severe. I'm just, I'm just teasing, kind of teasing them free like that. In plastering, we have a saying, and what we say is we say, let the water do the work. And that's when we're mixing plaster. And it's the same here, you know, let the water get in and do the work. So, this side's a lot freer. And this side's quite matted. It's gonna take some uh, breaking up, I think. And at some point you've got to start doing some serious detangling and kind of following the root down with my hand and kind of just trying to work the roots free. You're, you're obviously going to break a few. Like there's one there. And I've almost got kind of this this one separated and, and that's what I want. I, I want each one of these to kind of, these major thicker roots to be individual, not connected to the rest. Well, that was good there. That was really good. See, if you just play about and pull and eventually they just kind of, oh there, see that? So I've got that root there, nice and free. Bits of stones and things are, are coming out. That's working well. No, I'm not crouching down down there. I can I can see that there's a central root coming right out of the bottom. It's not a tap root, but it almost just comes vertically down and that's going to get in the way. So I remove that and that opens this area up quite a lot. Now I've got two roots here. I think these need to be separated really. To Oh, they're coming apart nicely. Oh, that worked well. And I've got another root. I've got a root like underneath. That I'm also trying to sort of separate. And this one's taking a bit more work. There. That one came a lot apart really nicely there. So it, it is definitely a question of just taking your time and not rushing this, teasing these roots apart. And I love the root over rock style of planting. I've not got any myself yet, apart from my small hawthorn one. But I'm hoping this can be kind of my first proper one. My only big question is, oh no, that could still work. I was considering removing this, this one under here because it kind of sits below these other two. There's actually two roots down here that are kind of awkward especially this larger lower one. The top one seems fairly flexible, that bottom one not so much. So I'm kind of tempted to cut that one off. Unless I could possibly 
spread them out. But do you see see the problem? These ones down here are causing it not to really sit on the rock. So the bottom one definitely has to go. That one had to go. And even the other one, by removing it, it now opens that up really nicely to sit on top of the rock. And when I look underneath, I want a nice kind of flat base down there, which I've got. I don't want to remove any more of these roots because the more roots I remove, the less chance it's got of making it. But I've got a fairly flat base under there now, and that should hopefully just sit on top of this rock like that. What do you think? I think that has some potential coming down like that. Now, ideally, I don't want all of these, all of these roots, but I think a lot of those finer ones are going to die off anyway. And so I'm now going to tie this in place. I'm a big fan of this vet tape it seems to be working out really well so far so all i'm going to do is just i've got the roots more or less in the right position that i want them there kind of spread out around so i'll just Hold it in place with my left hand, holding the roots tight, tightly against the rock like that. So they're held, and I'll then pull this side down and come around like that. And I'm quite cranking on that. I'm giving that quite a lot of tension there. And I can this is where some extra hands helping hands will be nice but you know it is so I can even come kind of over the top and down just to support those roots there like that and I'll do that again there so these are really on fairly fairly tightly look at that I could have worked in A&E me with these uh, these skills I'll just cut that off. And I'll use the this technique that seems to work quite well, where you tear it. Come round the back. Tie it on. That seems to work quite nicely. I think I will just do one extra, one extra piece just to doubly secure this. And this will just be a, a plain piece round to there and just tied. 
like that and that's going absolutely nowhere that piece that's super secure yeah. we'll now take the pot that seems to sit fairly well in there I think or do you think it should be in a bigger pot? Hmm. Oh, I think that's better. This was uh, this was actually a, another another pot that I turned after the video I did on making concrete pots and I turned it with a sand relief. It, it's not the best. And it, it's a bit thin in the wall. But I think it kind of suits this here. I think that could work well. Although perhaps it's a bit shallow. Mm, that could be a problem. This seems like a bit of a beast. Oh, I like that. That's better. Because at the end of the day, I'm not choosing a pot now for the looks of it. I'm choosing it for purely practical purposes. I'll take this scrim tape out of the other pot. Place it over the hole. And start. Start adding some soil into that. So there's about an inch of soil in there. I'll perhaps add a bit more, pulling all these bits of weeds out as I go. And then this can just go and sit nicely in there. I'm going to put the rock flat and have the tree slanting. So I think that'll be more interesting. I'm putting the rock in the centre. Most of the roots around on this side. But I'll put the rock fairly centrally. Trees on a slant. And then all I have to do then is just add more soil. And because, because those roots are quite matted, I do need to try and work this soil in between those roots so that there's no air pockets. The roots are not just sitting there drying out. Now I am going to come up up this, um, what's it called, the uh, vet tape. I'm not just working to the bottom of the vet tape. I'm going to bring the soil up past it, or, or part way up it anyway. Just to give the plant every, every possible chance of survival. These will hold all, all these roots that are coming down the side here will over time become completely exposed and they won't be in any soil at all. But for the time being, I don't think it does it any harm just to cover it up like that and perhaps I mean, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm actually tempted to come right up and even cover this. But I don't think I will.
I think that should do there. I'll leave the top of the rock sticking out. And these roots here can begin to sort of properly harden off over the coming seasons. And hopefully this this goes on to be quite an interesting tree. I plan on doing quite a lot more of these root over rocks. I find them really interesting. Yeah, that's about perfect. So it gives me gives me a return in the pot there that I can water to. So it'll hold a bit of water, but not too much. I've just brought you in a bit closer now, just to see all the roots that are exposed. And I think these ones will, yeah, these are just going to die off. So they're not connected to anything. So I may as well just cut those off now. The rest of these seem to go down and they might they might nourish the tree for a bit bit of time yet. So that's a new addition to my bonsai family, boxwood over rock. And as the years go on, I'll start revealing the roots. Next year, I think I'll probably take that vet tape off. And if you'd like to follow the progress of this tree, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. But Apart from that, as always, have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.